Hey guys, welcome to Football World at Rumasports. Please subscribe and turn on the bell icon to get notifications. Cristiano Ronaldo and Tyrone Mings needed to separate it by their teammates on Sunday afternoon after the pair got into a WWE-esque scrap during Aston Villa's success against Manchester United. With the home side 3-1 up thanks to goals from Leon Bailey, Lucas Dean and Jacob Ramsey, an engaging United side were attempting to diminish the deficiency with 59 minutes on the clock at Villa Park. However, after Alejandro Garnacho fell flat to move beyond full-back Matty Cash down the left-hand side, referee Anthony Taylor stopped the game after a frustrated Ronaldo hauled Mings to the ground. The two players got into a really serious tussle in the penalty area. Such was the severity of the episode, a VAR check occurred for rough direct, yet it concludes no red card was required. Cristiano Ronaldo, in the interim, got a yellow card for his actions. It was an unfortunate day at the workplace for Eric Ten Hag's men, who went 1-0 behind after just seven minutes when Leon Bailey thumped it past David De G easily. Things went from terrible to worse for United as a superb free kick from Lucas Dean plunged over the wall and into De G's net. Luke Shaw's redirected exertion just before the halftime whistle provided the Reds with a promising sign, however Jacob Ramsey put the bind to sleep to give on I Emery his first success as Aston Villa manager. In front of Sunday's clash at Villa Park, Ronaldo was named Manchester United captain by Eric Ten Hag just weeks after he refused to play for the club. Interestingly since January, the 37-year-old forward led his side out of the passage on Sunday evening, a scenario that seemed almost impossible last month. On October 20, after he refused to come on as a second-half substitute against Spurs at Old Trafford, the five-time Ballon d'Or victor was banished from Manchester United's first group squad. In any case, weeks after Ten Hag said he would manage the situation the next morning after the Spurs result, Ronaldo was given the captain's armband. We have more leaders, Harry is on the seat, Bruno is suspended, you take the player who has the leadership, he said. The goalie is often far away from the situations, especially in the adversary's half, and we need to play in the rival's half. Casemiro is not speaking full English language yet, then you come to Cristiano, he is doing all around well the last two games, I want to believe that he keeps that process going. At the point when you are captain and leader you need to set a model, and that is the very thing that I anticipate from him he is a significant piece of the squad, we are content with him and presently he has to take in considerably a greater amount of the leader role. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications. Please like, comment and share. See you next time. Bye for now.